Hello, welcome to Droidbox. My name is Hashem. His name is David. What are we doing today? Today we're going to be unboxing and demonstrating the Droidbox W8 Pro. Go on then, get on with it. What? Thumbs up, guys. So, on with the unboxing. Inside you have the Droidbox W8 Pro, of course, which we'll get on to more detail in a moment. Inside the box is a UK power adapter. If you're from overseas, we'll include the right adapter. There's a HDMI cable, and finally a UK quick start guide, which will get you up and running. Okay, W8 Pro on the front, we have the, the power button. On the right hand side, we have two USB connections. One of them USB 3.0, the other one is USB 2. We have an SD card connection. On the back, we have got a headphone jack, an Ethernet port, an HDMI connection, an OTG USB, and a power adapter connection. Okay, so what we'll do next is give you a quick demonstration of the W8 Pro in action. So, as you can see, it's starting to boot up. It will go through the first run procedure. Once the setup procedure is completed, you're ready to start using Windows as you would with your PC. As you can see, all of your apps are here, so you have the calendar, email, uh, games, Cortana, and all your news feeds and so on. Uh, you've also got a list of all your apps here, as what you'd find on a, a normal Windows PC. So you have full access to the Microsoft Windows Store. So one of the advantages of having a Windows 10 device such as the Droidbox T11 is that Netflix works really well because it uses Windows 10 and Microsoft Edge. It can in theory go up to 4K support and it's uh, that, the actual only browser that can actually support it. So um, you just use it like a normal Windows desktop. So we'll just quickly show you um, an example of full screen playback so this is just a trailer but it works perfectly fine for TV shows and films so we'll just quickly put that into full screen and as you can see it works great so you have full access to everything on Netflix so any TV shows that you watch uh, there's also the films on there and so on you can also install Kodi. Uh, we recommend installing version 16, but you can, if you want, install the latest uh, version 17, which is currently in development. So all you need to do is just go to the downloads section and click on the Windows installer. That will give you a few options where to download it from. And after a few seconds, it will start to download to your T11 device. So as you can see that's downloading at the moment and then just give it a few seconds for it to download and once it's downloaded you can install it as normal. So once Kodi is installed you can find it on your start bar. So if you want to make a shortcut to your desktop just keep your finger on it and drag it to your desktop like so and that will make a shortcut. Then just double click on it as normal and it will start to load. So just give that a few seconds for the first time it's loading. And as you can see, it's installed the latest version of Kodi. So it's exactly the same as what you'd find on um, like your Droidbox T8S Plus. So you can install your favorite add-ons or if you have a video library, you can add that to it. So we'll just quickly show you um, Windows activation to show which version of Windows so you've got Windows 10 Home Edition and as you can see it's fully activated with the product ID and a key uh, if you go to Windows Update you can see it's currently installing an update so where it's the first time it's being used there will be some updates available uh, just let them download and install as normal as mentioned previously, you have full access to the Microsoft Windows uh, Store. So from here you can download any apps that are listed on here. So for example, there's the Netflix app, 
uh, you've got Facebook, uh, there's a few games. We don't recommend playing many games on there because the actual device is not designed for games, but some very basic games you can actually play. Uh, so there's plenty to choose from on there. There's thousands of apps, uh, such as like music players, like um, TuneIn Radio, for example. Uh, you've got Sky News, you've also got uh, BBC, iPlayer, Channel 5 On Demand, BT Sport if you have an account with them and so on. And finally the Droidbox T11 works great with the VPN app IPVanish so you just install that as a normal Windows app, go to Windows and then download software and install it and run as normal. Don't forget because you're a Droidbox customer you do get your first month for around 99 cents which works out to around 68 pence so it's a really good saving if you want a VPN provider. Hope you've enjoyed this Droidbox W8 Pro unboxing and demo. Don't forget you can purchase the Droidbox i18 wireless keyboard it works really well with the W8 Pro. Please share, comment and subscribe. Thumbs up guys.